Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Walking Dead Our World. Today we're talking about the new event that just dropped and we're going to be going into our current clan and how our progress is going on. It's pretty good. We are looking for active members at the moment. We are seeing three more people. Uh, if, if you are interested in joining a clan that is active, you find yourself on the board quite often and other people aren't chipping in, then join our clan. We've got active checks going on with 24-hour checks. If people don't respond, they will be kicked out. So we're pretty strict, but it just means that everybody's active and everybody's contributing. So it makes those challenges way easier to do. And if you're interested in more Walking Dead content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and you can keep up to date with all the future content. Okay, let's get into it. So first of all, we have this event, the Two Minute Energy event, July the 31st to August the 5th. This is dropped straight away right now, so it's active in your account. During this time, energy will regenerate once every two minutes. So that means we're getting twice as much energy respawning from our counter um, and it, yeah it makes a massive difference if you're out on a hunt it means you've pretty much got that one energy to constantly seek survivors uh, so it's going to be pretty good when you're going out on long trips in other news they've also fixed the massive bug or some server issues on their end where it was disconnecting you're getting 101 error uh, so that's stopped now and i've haven't had any disconnections from the game playing all day so that's pretty good to see next just want to give so next let's look at an update on where i'm currently at in terms of the game so as you can now see i am level 11 going on 12 not too far away from it i've got plenty of coins to be able to use they're my stats that's the kind of stats we're looking for in our group people over 10,000 at least uh walkers killed just shows that you're putting in a lot of work you're not just purchasing stuff and that you're probably going to be contributing to some of the missions. So this is our clan at the moment. Currently at 23 out of 25. We've got pretty much all above level 8 at least. Uh, but S done, but he puts in good work, so he stays. And we have, this is our current challenge board. So we are weekly challenge tier 4. Uh, and we're in the third part of it. So we've passed bronze 1, 2, 3. We're now in silver 1. This, these missions get so hard at this point where if you don't have a team of active players, you're not going to complete them. Trust me, take down 1,000 armored walkers with Ocelot SMG, you're going to struggle. We're at 316 with one day and six hours. We should be able to do it just in time because we usually have a pretty big push. We've had two epic infestations in one flare. Uh, somebody dropped that big shout out to, uh, who was it that dropped it? It was big shout out to Yums who dropped that. It was an awesome find. And it meant that a lot of people got a lot of purple drops. Some of the people actually got the Ocelot uh, SMG, which means they can now start contributing to that. So the missions do get very uh, customized to you know specific players. Sasha Williams for that one. Abraham Ford. So if you're going to be in our group, you need to be a high level so that you've probably acquired some of these cards that we could be using to take some of these missions down. In terms of where my weapons are, they're looking pretty nice. I'm in like the 900 to 105 region for most of my weapons. Just got an upgrade on my sniper from doing a raid, which takes it now to 105 power as well. So yeah, most of my weapons now in the rare clap platform, actually all of them are at 105 now, so that's pretty good. Working on some of my epic weapons, because obviously they require epic infestations or epic encounters. And they're a little bit harder to, to build up. But one of the main things that I'm working on as well is building up tokens to be able to upgrade some of these weapon mods. They make a massive difference in some battles. This is my favorite weapon, the Conqueror Assault Rifle, just because of some of the, the, the mods that I have on it. So trigger happy 15% plus 15% faster attack rate. These 10% chance of double, dealing double damage with every attack is really, really good. I've just fully upgraded my pistol as well, which means double damage, 10% chance, then another 10% chance. Uh, and these are awesome mods of your first two shots in combat will go unnoticed by walkers. It's a really good tactical mod to have when you're going in against some of the encounters where you might need to get those first four shots, take out four zombies, which makes the rest a little bit easier to clean up. In terms of heroes, I've currently acquired all the legendary types that you can get. Uh, so Rosita is one of my best because I got, uh, I think, two epic infestations. Managed to get a ton of cards from her. I've upped her Shock and Awe as well, which deals double damage for three seconds after a grenade explosion. So that's really helpful. I've actually got three, uh, three tokens that I can use. Grit is a terrible mod to have. 
We've got Rick, but not at high levels for my epic types. My rare heroes are probably my best. We've got Daryl, who's looking close to going up to the, the next level 8 upgrade. Perks are also looking really good. I've gone and managed to get Carol's Fireworks, which increased the percentage area of my grenade effect. Junk Cat's going on the next level up. Just two more for that. And the other ones. We managed to pull Daryl's Ear Necklace from a raid, which isn't actually listed because uh, it's, it's a pretty rare drop. It's a damage increase percentage by 1%. Not massive, but it's a little something extra than other people might have. If you're starting the game new, just some little tips to go through the game. You know, first of all, get in a group that's going to have flares. That's going to help you access some really good finds and share those finds. Next up, if you're trying to level up fast, you want to be le leveling up your common types first. They won't require as much uh, coins to do so. You will get more coins as you go off for higher tiers, uh, higher missions, and with your leveling up when you drop survivors off as well, you'll see I get 66 coins for each survivor, whereas at the very low level, you know, you can only get 13. So that will go up and it's a pretty good way of getting coins. That's how I stay on top of most of my collection and most of it's upgraded and I have coins to spare. Also, when you're leveling up, remember that when you level up, the whole board around you refreshes. So if you've encountered an epic infestation, so we used a flare today, which had two epic infestations, you're probably going to run out of energy. Um, but if you do have enough energy, you're going to be able to do those two. Then you want to time a level up where you level up and then it will refresh. And technically, technically you can get four epic infestations from one flare that way. And you can do that across the board for if you have an encounter with an epic uh, infestation as well. You can do it, refresh it. If you found yourself an epic supply drop, uh, these will look like this. So these will give you really, really good rewards. Sometimes you'll get like three sets of like five batches of energy. Uh, so they're a great way to get energy back as well. So you could use the level up trick there as well. Okay, well that's all for this video. Hopefully you find it helpful. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. Any questions you have about the game, please pop them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to help. That's all for me. See you soon.